House flies and stable flies are similar in size, about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch in length. House flies are dull gray in color with four black stripes going down the thorax. These flies have sponging mouth parts, so while they're a nuisance, they can't actually bite your cows. They're mechanical vectors of disease such as pink eye, and heavy fly infestations can lead to increased cases of mastitis. Stable flies are dull gray in color with a tan pattern abdomen. These flies have piercing mouth parts. They inflict painful bites to take a blood meal, usually on the legs of cows. Bites are stressful. These often keep cows from laying down and resting. It's estimated that stable flies alone cost the dairy industry over $2 billion in losses annually. Stable flies and house flies are commonly known as filth flies due to their association with wet, decaying organic material, such as manure, garbage, and carrion. Any area where moist feed, bedding, and manure can accumulate could become a breeding source for flies. Moisture is important because flies can't develop in dry media. Flies undergo complete metamorphosis, passing through four life stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. In ideal conditions, houseflies can complete the life cycle in less than 10 days. Stable flies complete the life cycle between two to four weeks. An adult female fly can lay approximately 500 eggs laid in several batches over her lifetime. As you can imagine, fly populations can quickly skyrocket without any control measures in place. What does all of this have to do with control? Over 80% of a fly population is in the immature stage, not flying around disturbing cows. Treating for adults is an important element of fly control, but managing and eliminating breeding sources is critical for successful fly management.